Sometimes in production environments, programming is the bottleneck of the process. So anytime you're able to save time with little programming tricks, it's really awesome. And one of the ways that we accomplish that with this part is Mastercam has a new multi-axis debugger toolpath. And it's incredibly easy to use. It's incredibly awesome. So what we have is we have a lollipop end mill. All we have to do in the toolpath is tell it what tool we're using. In this case, it's a half inch lollipop. We pick our solid and we tell it what edges we want to deburr. So if you take a look at the tool path, the Mastercam generated all by itself, you'll see that we have a lot of full five axis synchronous motion. And I didn't have to come up with any of this. The software came up with all of it all on its own. And you can see that it's getting the insides the outsides, and all of this motion Mastercam came up with all by itself. For features that are a little more complicated than just the external features that are easy to access, you can break out a separate multi-axis debur toolpath so that you have a little more control over your tool axis. So for say deburring the internal edges on the ID of this bore for these three holes here, I broke it out separately, picked those three edges by themselves pick the solid so that it knows what it needs to avoid and once again it just came up with the motion on its own it knows what it needs to do to get in there and avoid the ID walls and again we end up with a part that's hundred percent deburred ready to deliver to the customer with no additional hand operations after we take the part out of the machine other than knocking off the tab
With five axis machining, a really common practice to be able to accomplish machining your part in one setup is to use a tab. What the tab allows you to do is to machine every surface of the part and then at the very end you just break the part off and then just deburr the tab that's left hanging onto your stock. Some of the things you have to consider when you're tabbing a part in is the thickness of the tab in relationship to the weight of the part, to the orientation of the part while you're cutting the tab. In this case our part is steel and it's pretty heavy so we ended up leaving a tab that's 35 to 40 thou thick. Uh, you can see the orientation that the part is in as we're cutting it. We're taking very small depth cuts of five thousandths. That way the part doesn't start deflecting away from the cutter or into the cutter so that we end up maintaining a nice finish on the underside of the part. And if all goes according to plan, once this part is machined, we'll just be able to grab the part and break it off. So I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. See you guys next time.